So next up, we have Sota uh, Watanabe uh, from ASTAR. Uh, is going to be joining us to, so Sota uh, is founder of ASTAR Network and a big believer in Web3 and is also the director of the Japan, Japan Blockchain Association. Uh, and today, and I'm also told uh, that there's a very high probability that ASTAR is up to win the next parachain auction. So um, keep our fingers crossed for that for you. And Sota is going to be talking to us today about EVM and WASM smart contracts on Polkadot. So uh, take it away, Sota. And yeah, feel free to share your screen uh, with your slides. Cool. Yeah. Thank you for having me today. Uh, let me share my screen. Awesome. So yeah, thank you for having me today again. Uh, actually, I have a, another investor, investor call in 30 minutes, so I'm not sure I can take a QA time. If I can take a QA time, that would be great. If I could not, uh, please feel free to DM me on Twitter. This is my Twitter, uh, Watanabe Sota. All right, uh, let's get it started. So today, I am I sharing screen right now? <laughs> I have a two screen right now. Just a moment. Yeah, this should be fine. Cool. Uh, today I'm going to talk about smart contract on Polkadot and Asta network. So first, Polkadot is an interoperability protocol that connect blockchains. And Polkadot consists of relay chain, the heart of the Polkadot, and also parachain. So relay chain is the, the heart of the Polkadot that focus on the interoperability and providing the security to parachain. And parachain is the, the own blockchain, which has own logic, such as smart contract parachain, or DeFi parachain, NFT parachain, or DAO parachain, and so on. And the ASTAR is a smart contract parachain that support Ethereum virtual machine, web assembly, and also layer two solutions. So, um, this is the future. We are going to connect ASTAR network to Polkadot, and then we're gonna connect our blockchain to Ethereum, Cosmos, and Binance Smart Chain, and so on. So to make that to make long story too short, ASTAR is a multi-chain DApps layer one platform. And we are supporting both Ethereum virtual machine as well as WebAssembly. And third one is the most important things. So ASTAR is a build to one protocol. And I'm going to talk about build the concept of build to one today, later today. And it is Polkadot Parachain, and we have a, a lot of layer one bridges. So this is one liner. ASTAR is the first multi-chain build to one protocol that allow developers to earn basic income while making their product. So today, uh, we have a bunch of layer one blockchain. And developer is the most important human resource in entire blockchain ecosystem. But sadly, uh, developer uh, paying a lot of cost when they make smart contract, when they make infrastructure. Like, you know, when I, when I deploy my contract on the top of blockchain, I have to pay, you know, I don't know, um, thousand bucks or 100 bucks and so on. So losing cost by making product. So this is strange and this is you know, wrong because developer is the most important human resource and blockchain is all about incentive design, but incentive is broken. So we invented new the system that incentivize developers to deploy smart contract or make infrastructure. And this is the layer one blockchain. And the layer one blockchain has inflation through block rewards. And this inflation goes to validator and also developer through DAP, as a DAPS rewards. So this DAPS rewards is not only for DAPS project, but also infrastructure project. And developer can use Astar token to grow their ecosystem. For example, they can use Astar token for funding core team, liquidity mining, 
or paying gas fee or you know governance token rewards. And this this system is already live on our Canary network called the Shiden. In a project called Kako Finance and 50k US dollar was Shiden token per week. Uh, by the way, the Polkadot ecosystem has two different networks, Polkadot and Xama. And A star is a parachain of Polkadot, and Shiden is a parachain of Xama. And I would like to show you a quick demo. So this is our portal, and you can see uh, how many tokens I have. In Shiden and Asta is a multi-chain and multi-virtual machine smart contract hub. So we support not only Ethereum virtual machine, but also WebAssembly. So we have a two different address from the same, same private key. So this is the WebAssembly address, and this is a Ethereum virtual machine address. So I can send my token to Ethereum address as well as WebAssembly address. And you can deploy DApps here. And this is a DApps store. Currently, we have a 21 DApps on the top of Shiden. Probably we have more, but this is white listed portal. Because if it is permissionless, we are going to see a lot of fake Uniswap or fake sushi swap and so on. So this is white listed portal. And we have 21 DApps today. And we can see APY in the era and also the TVL. Currently, more than 11% of total supply has been already locked on DApps. And I can lock my token on this DApps. And by doing so, I can get staking rewards. I did not lock my token on this DApps, so, so staking reward is zero but I can um, token while staking my token on DApps. And project is using this DApps store with very unique way. So if I stake my token on this project, this project distribute NFT. If I, if I stake my token on Kako Finance, they distribute their native token. So this is very unique. And this is our token economics. So let's say Asta's variation is 1 billion. And we have a 10% inflation per year, which means 100 million is going to be issued. And 10% goes to validator, and 40% goes to treasury, and 50% goes to developer. And people can stake their token on the top of DAPs, and they can earn staking reward. In this case, 10 million goes to staker. And developer join our ecosystem and create dApps or infrastructure because they can earn a star token by creating dApps or infrastructure. And in this case, 40 million goes to developer so that they can earn basic income. The, the beauty of our token economics is the more dApps are created, the more token will be staked because there will be a lot of the option. And the more tokens are staked, the less token there in circulation. So this is there is positive feedback on our variation. And the variation becomes 2 billion from 1 billion. We can distribute 100 million. And variation becomes, becomes 3 billion. We can distribute 150. And we can incentivize people to create dApps. And more tokens should be locked on dApps as well as network. Yeah. Um, I, I explained the build to earn concept, but uh, let's uh, go back to the Polkadot talk. So Polkadot has a lot of opportunities. Like Polkadot relay chain does not support smart contract by design. So people need at least one parachain that supports smart contract. And Ethereum virtual machine is really important because the Ethereum is the biggest smart contract hub. But Ethereum virtual machine itself is not enough because future is WebAssembly. Because WebAssembly is faster and more efficient and we can deploy a lot of languages, the smart contract written in a lot of languages. And the yeah, incentive design is missing and also Polkadot connect blockchain, but technically Polkadot only connect blockchain build on substrate right now. So we need an adapter to connect to the, a lot of layer one blockchains. So we have a, a lot of solution like basic income called the DAPS staking, 
multiple uh, virtual machine, layer one bridges, and layer two. So I'm gonna talk about multi chain, multi virtual machine. Yep. So this is the the smart contract landscape in a Polkadot ecosystem. So we have uh, some smart contract platform in Polkadot ecosystem. Like Moonbeam is making Ethereum on Polkadot. So their EVM is very similar to Ethereum EVM. So if you have already deployed smart contract on the top of Ethereum, you can, you can deploy exactly the same contract on the top of Moonbeam. And in case of Asta, Asta supports both Ethereum virtual machine as well as WebAssembly. So you can deploy Solidity contract and you can deploy WebAssembly smart contract. And Parity technology is creating Canvas. Canvas is a common good parachain for all WebAssembly developer. And you can deploy WebAssembly smart contract on the top of Canvas. I think Canvas will be ready in quarter, quarter two next year. So in a Polkadot ecosystem, people can choose whether they can, they're going to deploy smart contract on the top of EVM or WebAssembly. So and this is the comparison between uh, Ethereum virtual machine and WebAssembly. So Ethereum virtual machine is mainly for Ethereum developer. And it is, we can say it is built by Ethereum foundation and Ethereum ecosystem. And Ethereum virtual machine supports Solidity as well as Viper. So we can see a lot of Solidity contract today in, in blockchain ecosystem. But the problem is it is not efficient. It does not support integers smaller than 256 bit. On the other hand, I think WebAssembly is going to be the future because WebAssembly is the mainly for web developer and Polkadot is going to be a fundamental protocol to realize Web 3.0. And WebAssembly is built by big tech giants such as uh, Google, Apple, Mozilla, Microsoft, and so on. And WebAssembly supports multiple languages. It means you can deploy, let's say, Go smart contract, or Python smart contract, or even C++ smart contract in the future. And WebAssembly is the, the upgradable, and which means blockchain is going to be focused. In case of Polkadot, we can update the existing code base to new code base without hard fork. So this is pretty important feature in the long run because current technology will be obsoleted in the long run. Then we have to upgrade technology step-by-step step, and no, no one would like to have a fork, hard fork. So focus is the important feature in the very long run. And Polkadot natively support WebAssembly. And we have a Ethereum virtual machine layer, but WebAssembly is natively supported by Polkadot. But the problem is the WebAssembly smart contract uh, too big to be deployed at this moment. So Parity Technologies and ecosystem member are improving the throughputs of WebAssembly contract on the top of parachains. So in case of Asta, we have a Ethereum virtual machine as well as WebAssembly. So you can deploy Solidity contract on the top of our EVM, and you can deploy Solidity on the top of our WebAssembly through Srang. Srang is a Solidity to WebAssembly compiler um, made by community member. And in case of Inc, Inc is a last EDSL made by Parity Technologies. You can deploy Inc smart contract on the top of WebAssembly. And many other languages can be deployed on the top of our WebAssembly. The, the, our challenge is how to make them interactive. So we support Ethereum virtual machine and we support WebAssembly. Technically speaking, we have a two different virtual machine at the, at the same time on the top of a single parachain. So in the future, we would like to make them interactive, but right now we can only call um, Solidity smart contract. Sorry, we can only call WebAssembly smart contract 
from Ethereum virtual machine. So we cannot call um, Ethereum smart contract from WebAssembly environment. This is not possible right now, but it will be possible and we are going to make them interactive. So this is the key takeaway. Uh, I think more WebAssembly smart contracts will be deployed from next year, hopefully quarter one. And WebAssembly is going to be the, the future of the smart contract, but Ethereum virtual machine is really important right now because Ethereum is the biggest smart contract hub. And I think people will not migrate from Ethereum virtual machine to WebAssembly at once, I mean, in a day or in a month. So we need to support both Ethereum virtual machine as well as WebAssembly at the same time on the top of, on the on the single parachain. So the interaction between Ethereum virtual machine and WebAssembly are going to be more important. So this is my presentation. Uh, thank you very much for listening. And if you have any question, feel free to DM me. Or oh, I think we have, yeah, we have a 10 minutes. Yeah, we do. So you said you had a hard stop at the top of the hour, but you're okay to ask, uh, answer a question before that. Thanks again, too, by the way. So yeah. it, was, it was really, really awesome to learn a little bit more about the star. Um, cool. So we do, we do have one question. So why did you launch on Kusama and Polkadot and how do your goals and roadmaps differ between uh, shoot in and a start? Got it. Um, I'm a strong Web3 believer. So blockchain needed to be connected just like internet. So internet was independent, right? So there was US network or Japan network or maybe you know, European network and it was isolated. But right now it is connected and we can talk each other simultaneously. The blockchain is going to be the same. So blockchain will be connected. It is expensive. It takes time to transfer the token and data right now, but it will be connected and it's gonna be cheaper and it's gonna be uh, faster. So interoperability protocol is really important to, to make Web 3.0 for billion people, not for millions, right? So Polkadot and Xama is one of the most leading interoperable protocol, in my opinion, so that's why we decided to join Polkadot Space to 2.5 years ago. I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, so just one more question here. How is the progress of the Cosmos Bridge in a star? Yeah, so we are really focusing on layer one blockchain right now. So our ecosystem member are working on the bridges right now. So one project is called Octopus Network. And the Octopus network is making the bridge between Cosmos, Cosmos ecosystem, and also uh, Asta, Polkadot. So we have already delivered Ethereum virtual machine bridge. I think by using ChainSafe, ChainSafe bridge. And we can transfer our token to secret network and secret network to ASTA through ChainSafe bridge. But uh, this is Ethereum virtual machine bridge. And I would like to utilize that bridge for all Cosmos, Cosmos have, Cosmos tendermint based blockchain. I think Cosmos, uh, Cosmos IBC based blockchain. Then uh, Octopus Network is working on the bridges and currently we are working with Injective protocol. Injective is built on Cosmos and Octopus is going to create bridge and that bridge can be used for every Cosmos uh, chains. So it will be delivered in, in I think, three months. Okay, very exciting. Yeah, it should be a very interesting uh, yep. start to 2022 for all things Polkadot related, I would imagine. Yeah, Polkadot will be fully derived from next year, I guess. Yep. So, yep. yeah, it, technically speaking, the Polkadot is going to be derived on December 17th, yeah, but no one would like to enable token transfer yet yeah, because yeah, it's, gonna, <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a quiet first couple of months, I would imagine. But oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, as, we, as we start to get into uh, the middle and even second half of, of 2022, it should definitely be a very exciting time for the whole space. Yeah, 2022 is going to be big. Big time. All right, um, thank you very much for having yeah. me today.
Thanks again, Soda. I really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us today. Yeah, thank you, Stu. Awesome. So um, up next, we have Scott Moore. Um, sorry, Soda, you can just, uh, yeah, perfect. Um, 